Hello guys, today we'll be talking about Livewire version 3.4. But before we do that, I want to apologize for my voice. This is what happens when you spend a few days at Laracon EU talking to people all the time and then walk around windy Amsterdam. So this is my voice now, but I hope it's still understandable. So I don't want to do any pauses on this channel and still create valuable content, I hope. So, meanwhile, a few weeks ago, Caleb Porzio released version 3.4 of Livewire with huge amount of features. Pretty big release, Caleb was pretty excited about it on Twitter. And in this video, I will show you a few new features, just a few, but I will link the full release in the description below so you can try it out yourself with more stuff. And this is one of those times when it paid off for us to have text-based courses now since 2023 i've been doing not videos but mostly text-based courses so we have that course on live wire 3 and we could quickly update that looking at what we can add into various lessons so for example in lesson about search and pagination in the table there's a new section small section that we added that you can do this session and this is our demo project to demonstrate that so you have table of products you search for Triple, for example, it is filtered, but it doesn't appear in the search query. It is in the session. So if you refresh the page, it still stays active until someone's canceling that and then sees the full data again. So this can be achieved in your Livewire components by adding session as a PHP attribute on top of search query. So that's the first new feature I wanted to demonstrate. The second kind of small improvement that I wanted to show, but it may be useful if you have multiple components with hierarchy. So you can have properties like layout, for example, in the parent component for all the children components, which didn't work until Livewire 3.4. So here in our demo, you may see that class products extends default template, not just components. So what's that default template? It's just an empty component just for demonstration of this that can be set in the parent component. So you don't have to set that in each component that extends that default parent. Another interesting change and feature released in 3.4 of Livewire submitted by Gunther de Brouwer here. You can define on on the component to listen for some events. Example, you have a list of products and you have new product as a modal window, which is another Livewire component, but you add something, you save, and then parent component is refreshed by doing just this syntax. So on refresh products, and that refresh products is called in the child component, I mean modal component with those fields. So there's save method and then at the end dispatch refresh products, which is caught by this new syntax defined on the component level. So yeah, just a few new features, but I do recommend to read those pull requests and maybe you will pick up something new to be implemented in your Livewire projects if you use Livewire 3.4 or later. What do you think? Anything new that you are excited personally in Livewire? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.